winning. Huge victory. His champions on that lead. Champions. History has been made in. It's what we all desire. It's what fuels our fire. What makes us battle until the final buzzer. Keep that World Cup dream alive. Phenomenal. It's what brings everyone together to fight for a shared goal, to push each other forward. It's what creates moments that we'll remember all our life. Mark it up for the game. So mark your calendars and be a part of the battle for the ultimate trophy. Woo, he's having a good day. Because when we win for one. Are you kidding me? We win for all. Good evening, Basel fans all over the world, and welcome here to the Philippine Arena for the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. It is currently going to be our host, Gilles Filipinas, taking on the Dominican Republic. Well, hello, everybody. I'm your commentator, Josh Ben, alongside head coach Will Voigt, the 2016 Olympic coach of Team Nigeria. Will, we are in for history. History is being made here today at the Philippine Arena. Yeah, you know, for anybody out there who's not familiar with Filipino basketball, this is a great introduction. Uh, it's a country that absolutely loves the game, and we're seeing it on display at tonight's uh, match. Well, again, go back to 1994. FIBA set history with one Shaquille O'Neal, the MVP of the 1994 FIBA Basketball Cup in Canada, set a record playing in front of 32,616 spectators. We've yet to know how many fans have come in here tonight at the Philippine Arena, but for sure we have set a new milestone. We're now going to get set to introduce some players from the Dominican Republic. And of course, you know, there are quite a lot of good players on this team, but one player to mind, you know who I'm talking about, three-time NBA All-Star, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, no question. I mean, his addition to this group really changes everything for them. Uh, dynamic score. He's been playing a lot on the perimeter uh, in their two tune-up games. I expect to see more of the same uh, tonight, but such a dynamic matchup can hurt you inside and outside. Of course, the Dominican Republic coming into this game, you know, as many have said, the favorites, but as Eloy Vargas having just spent a season playing with George Mundo's in Venezuela, he has a bit of NBA G League experience. Yeah, I mean, there's several guys here with NBA G League experience. Uh, you know, Vargas, obviously, uh, a vet who's who's seen a lot of it, but uh, you know you have Lester Quinos as well, who who's going to be a huge spark plug for them. Uh, I would expect big scoring numbers from him throughout this tournament. He is, as you mentioned, the most improved player of the 2023 NBA G League season. Of course, big expectations to hit the bill with this Dominican Republic team, coached by the great Chad Garcia. And you know, when it comes to winning, this man has the formula. No question. I mean, you know, what Nestor's been able to accomplish uh, is incredible. And obviously his success with Venezuela in the last go around, uh, you know, shows that he can take a group and mold them into a contender. Well, Philippines now getting set to introduce that team. They to see the one man that everybody's talking about. He is becoming already an iconic hero here in the Philippines. Well, you know, the, the, these fans have actually, you know, fallen in love with him. And, I think he has a chance to probably be the leading scorer of the World Cup. He'll have the ball in his hands a lot. They're going to need him to score big numbers for them to be successful. Well, they just saw a seven foot three prodigy Kai Soto currently playing for the Hiroshima Dragonflies in the Japanese B League. Experience set of Juma Fajardo 
played for Gilles Filipinas under Char Reyes at the 2014 FIBA World Cup. And CJ Perez, he played for Gilas in 2019, where unfortunately for the Philippines, they finished rock bottom up. And you know, you played against him. You had a victory against him when you were coaching Angola. We did. Uh, you know, I had a big uh, overtime win against them in China. Tons of Filipino fans uh, were at that game. Uh, and the president of the country uh, uh, also flew in to watch that game. So, you know, their support is uh, is worldwide. Well, there is AJ Adu, actually grew up in Great Britain. The son of a Nigerian mathematician and a Filipino mother. But again, he is featured with Kai Soto at the junior level, the Asian Championships, and also the FIBA Under-19 World Cup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to stand for the national anthems with Char Reyes and Che Garcia to pay homage and respect to these two beautiful countries of the Philippines and the Dominican Republic. champions, inspiring future generations of basketball stars. Give it a round of applause to Wonder Little Champions. Well, we do apologize there. We will see the national anthems momentarily. But again, here are the FIBA World Ladies Rankings brought to you by Knight. Italy, obviously, they're heavy the favorites in this group, coach. We again, begin. things could change the as this tournament goes around. Dominican but now Republic. we actually will stand for the national anthems of both Italy and Dominican Republic. <laughs> The emotion, anticipation, again, a historical day here for FIBA World Cup basketball. And as you can see, we have a near capacity crowd at the Philippine Arena. Well, we're going to get set to introduce our three referees for tonight's game. And we're very proud to say that we have some of the finest referees in world basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so. We have Gatta Challenge, Leonardo Taradar, and Johan Rosso coming from France, Argentina, and Latvia. Well, Coach, we're going to take a look at the starting lineups of these two teams. And I guess we probably will start with the Dominican Republic, I imagine, but no doubt, of course, we're going to go with the Philippines. Very interesting to see how Chart Reyes, but Jordan Clarkson is going to be in this starting five. He's going to be huge. I mean, the ball's going to be in his hands a lot. Uh, they're going to rely on him to create his own offense, which, you know, is what he does best. So 
uh, what they put around him uh, I, I think will be interesting to see, but for sure the majority of the shots are going to come from him. Well, A.A. Uh, Pagoy also featured full of the Philippines in the 2019 FIBA World Cup. Dwight Ramos currently playing for Hokkaido Lavenga in the Japanese B League. Well, E.J. Adu just fresh out of university. And Jap of Aguilar has played in the last, consider this one, two, three FIBA World Cups for Gilas Filipinas. Yeah, and you know, uh, Japith uh, in 2009 actually came to uh, Bakersfield Jam uh, tryout camp that I was running. So incredible to see him still playing here and at a high level. Well, there's a huge, huge accolade for Jordan Glass. And people need to remember just how great of an NBA player he is. 2021 NBA Sixth Man of the Year. That just goes to show the level of caliber play. But this man, the expectations are very high. Kai Soto, as we mentioned, playing for Hiroshima Dragonflies. Opening game is in February of 2023 against the Okinawa Ruka Golden Kings. And you can see so far the World Cup qualifiers just averaging under a double-double with 9.3 rebounds. But Kai has got to deliver in front of plus 40,000 Gilas Filipinas fans. Yeah, no question. Uh, a lot of pressure on the young 21-year-old, but such a dynamic player at 7-3. Can go inside and outside and for sure will be the future of uh, Gilas moving forward. Well, that was Chuck Reyes, the head coach of TNT Tropangiga has been many times in and out of the squad working as an assistant consultant, also times as a head coach, but again, when Carl Anthony Towns is in the house, you know the party's gonna get started. Well, you know, his addition to them uh, late in their test uh, test round, really, you could see the difference. Uh, you know, he's a dynamic player. I mean, he does it at the NBA level, night in, night out. That's a big lineup with Eloy Vargas and Carl Anthony Towns, but as you mentioned, you know, Lester Quinonez, he's going to have to have a big impact along with Andres Feliz and Victor Liz. No question. I mean, you know, Lester Quinonez is a bucket. He brings that Golden State Warrior mentality uh, with him here. Uh, I, I expect him to, you know, at times want to try to match Clarkson a little bit head for head. So that could be exciting to watch. Three-time NBA All-Star, as you see there with Carl Anthony Towns. But again, a man who has featured for the Dominican Republic at the senior level and at the junior level, but not as big as a FIBA World Cup. Olesta well, Quinonez, NBA G League most improved player last season. This is a great platform for him to show the entire world of international basketball just how great a player he is. Yeah, absolutely. He had some huge games in the G League last season. Uh, also continued his success in the NBA Summer League. So I'm sure he's brimming with confidence and uh, you know excited to get things underway. Nesta Che Garcia, a champion at the FIBA America Cup level in 2015 with El Vino Tito, Venezuela, was the head coach of his native country of Argentina, but decided to make a change, and it was him instead who got Dominican Republic qualified for the 2023 FIBA World Cup with one of the greatest comebacks in the qualifiers in the final window of the very final game. As I said, this man has the DNA of a winner. Yeah, absolutely. You know, his teams always adopt that mantra of gritty defense. Uh, I expect the same. He's got a little more scoring dynamic with this Dominican Republic team, but, you know, his teams always play hard and defend. Well, again, we thank to all the live viewers currently watching us on courtside 1891. And this is going to be an epic showdown. The Philippines, a country where basketball is bigger than life. It's more important than life and death. Simply everybody in this country is basketball mad. Well, they won third place at the 1954 FIBA World Cup. That was the second ever FIBA World Cup. The inaugural FIBA World Cup was in 1950 in Argentina. The second one took place in Brazil, and that is their highest finish ever. Yeah, and you, you see uh, standing next to him, Tim Crone, American coach who's had a ton of success here in the Philippines with the PBA uh, as an assistant coach now with Gilas. Well, this is the fourth appearance for the Dominican Republic. And, you know, you have to go back 45 years ago. And, you know, we're going to be there tomorrow. The Araneta Arena was the host venue for the 1978 FIBA World Cup in which the former Yugoslavia were crowned champions. And now our official sponsor, the Tissot Countdown to Tip-Off, is underway. Well, I mean, goosebumps. That's all you can feel. The fans are really up this occasion. But Gilas Pilipinas to come out victorious. This crowd has to be the sixth player on the floor. No, absolutely right. Uh, you know, I think both teams really come into this game knowing how important it is. Uh, Italy, obviously, the clear favorites of the group, but that second spot really up for grabs. I think a lot will be uh, will be told from the result from this game. So both teams for sure excited for the match. 
We're about to get this party started. Carl Anthony Towns has entered the floor. And he's probably going to match up with AJ Adu. Juman Fajardo and Kai Soto will be coming off the bench. Well, again, we have stressed this enough. This is 2023, and history was made not long ago. Well, we say not long ago, of course. A time when Shaquille O'Neal was a player of the United States of America. In 1994, Shaquille O'Neal was a member, the MVP of the FIBA 1994 FIBA World Cup, of course, in which 32,616 spectators set a record. Tonight, we reach a new milestone. We'll give you the official numbers as soon as we know, but we have definitely broken that record tonight. Yeah, incredible atmosphere here. Uh, you know, it's not often you see an arena this size. Uh, and, and to see all the Gillis fans come out and support their team is really great. Well, AJ Adu will jump this with Carl Anthony Towns. AJ Adu spending his college career at the University of Toledo. What an opportunity he has to go up against an NBA caliber player, a three time NBA All Star. Well, again, to all of our fans in the Dominican Republic, hola, bienvenidos, and to all of our fans in the Philippines, Magandangabi. Let's get this party started. The Dominican Republic now will have the very first possession of the game. Philippine crowd trying to get behind him. There's a baseline play by Liz. No foul calls. A good defense by Dwight. Oh, I think that was Ara Pagoy, but at one, one point there was a slight reach in there. Cat got it by AJ Adu. Dominican Republic now trying to send him to the office. Quinones giving this one up to Victor Lees. Three is up and no good. Again, Coach, look at the hustle there by Ara Pagoy, diving on the floor, making sure the Dominican Republic don't come up with an offensive rebound. Ramos goes in for a floater again, getting the first two points of the game. And Ramos can be a real X factor for them, probably one of their best shooting uh, perimeter guys outside of Clarkson. Well, Dominican Republic just trying to deal with the nerves. There's the back to play as Victor Lees goes up and a bit of contact, but no foul calls. Ramos trying to push the tempo in the backcourt. The Philippines are having to deal with two very big players on the court. Henry Vargas and Carl Anthony Towns. Ross coming off one ball screen. Goes to the mid-range. Can't get this one. Now you can start to hear the boos. Remember, we're over 40,000 fans here. Can't go in the lane five. Vargas gets rejected. Or AJ Adu says, not in my house. And now you can see Clarkson quick three puts it up. You know, that's the kind of shot that I think we're going to have to get used to. Obviously, he hits that, this crowd erupts. Well, both teams now trying to go for a bit of run and gun basketball. Tempo needs to be the key here, but composure and control of their offense. Yeah, really, really nice job there for Clarkson selling that foul. You know, sometimes NBA guys don't don't know the nuances there of the international game, but uh, you know you see him early on, really, really selling that. Well, Ramos inbounding this one here on the side. A dude got it by Carl Anthony Towns. Philippines trying to settle into their offensive. The Dominicans being very aggressive. Anderson Towns winding down here with five. Makes a penetration, pulls up in mid-range. Again, getting good looks, but unable to knock him down. Yeah, you know, those are looks that they will live with. Uh, I'm surprised, actually, that, that Gilas isn't uh, running more early ball screens for him. Well, the boy's got numbers. He's got Ramos. Got to go himself in the end. Well, interesting take there, but then they get the putback by AJ Adu. And this crowd already into it early, something that Gillis will be looking to feed off of all game. Well, Pagoy had numbers there. It was a three-on-one, decided to go himself, but he was lucky when A.J. Adu came up with a loose ball. Can't go for a three-pointer. Puts this one up. Can't get it. Gillis secures the rebound, trying to extend their lead. You know for sure, here is going to be their go-to player. Fox is running circles around the defense. And again, a bit of a sloppy offense there by Gillis Filipinas. But those early drag screens, I, I expect to see a lot of that. You know, I, I think they're going to want to keep the ball in Clarkson's hands as much as possible. And the Dominican Republic has been playing drop defense throughout their tune-up. So until they start trapping, uh, you know, why not? Keep it in his hands and let him do his thing. 
Well, Carl Anthony Towns just trying to find his momentum here, trying to build that identity. Goes down the pace. He gets fouled, he'll go to the free throw line and just goes right over the advertising board. And I like that set there, uh, you know, from the VR, putting him more at the mid post where, you know, he's only one or two dribbles away from the rim. He has shot the belt ball well in his test games, but, you know, I think here he's going to be more effective playing off those elbows. Well, we're going to see now a man who's used to playing in NBA environments, how he deals with the free throws in front of the Philippine arena crowd at the moment. No problem here for the three-time NBA All-Star. Yeah, and expect uh, full court pressure here from the Dominican Republic. Cat makes both free throws. Dominican Republic tying the game up early on. She's playing over three minutes so far. He's trying to break this defense down with Jaffa Vagula. The clock's goes in for another one. That's going to be a little bit off to the right. And now the Dominican Republic have numbers. He's giving this one up. The three is up. Again, no good. The both teams struggling a little bit early on from the perimeter. Well, Ramos. Well, Ramos had a wide open look. Goes to McGoy. Three is up. Three is good. Oh, Coach, I was going to say, Dwight Ramos gave him up an easy layup. <laughs> well, you know, we like to say good to great. Uh, I agree. I think he had the easy one. But, you know, it's really nice to see him looking for teammates on the perimeter. Well, Carl Anthony Towns now triple teams. Somebody should be open on this offense. Well, comes up, finds Eloy Vargas, and he throws it down with two hands. Well, the big man just coming in the right place at the right time. Yeah, unlucky uh, bounce there. Dominican Republic's defense now trying to make this tough here for the Philippines. Roxy just being physically manhandled here. Makes a bit of contact, goes up, and just plays a bit of bully basketball. Somebody pull the principal. Yeah, surprised that the DR played that straight up. I, I would expect to see a little more trapping from him. A cat trying to go in, doesn't get it. Fights for his own rebound. Goes for the one-legged fadeaway. Still can't get it, but Dominican Republic battling for offensive boards. Police goes for another three. It's the same story, and again, it's too easy here for the Dominicans. And, you know, a little bit of the nerves that we saw in the first game, and that's normal. You know, trying to, trying to get used to these rims, this court, and, of course, this crowd. Uh, not surprising to see some missed shots. Gilas Filipinas just holding on to a one-point lead due to our uh, Pagoy's three-pointer. Ramos pulls up in the mid-range. Rebound secured by Eli Vargas. Dominican Republic with a chance to take the lead. Something they haven't done so far here in the first quarter. There's a penetration, finds leads in the corner. Three is up and finally getting their first tray ball. And that's beautiful basketball by the Dominicans. Yeah, and, and you know, the DR will use a lot of that we call delay action, but that five out with the bigs up on the perimeter, that's kind of their bread and butter offense. You can see the Philippines relying heavily here on Jordan Clarkson. And Clarkson left wide open. The boys made one three, takes another one. And he's wide open, but he's got to knock those ones down. And Gilas are going to have a chance here tonight. You can see right now the mental anxiety as we talked about. Both teams just trying to settle into this game. You can see early quite a bit of huffing and puffing going on. Yeah, and that's to be expected. You know, you just can't replicate the intensity of these games in, in test matches. Well, foul is going to be called against Jordan Clarkson. Too much protest there from Jordan Clarkson. You know, it's interesting for NBA fans watching international basketball. You know, what kind of calls would you get in the international game as opposed to the NBA slash G League game? Absolutely, and you know, uh, Steve Kerr had an interesting comment a few days ago that, you know, you, you in an NBA game, there's three, four minutes where you might kind of be, you know, not at your best. And then internationally, you can't afford that. That can be the difference in winning and losing. Well, Kai Soto checking into the game for Gilas. Man, he dumped in the prodigy, the future of this nation. The Vargas being got it by. Shoot off a hot. They go for another three-pointer. He must go big here. But can he get something in their offense? Well, Kai left wide open. Kai goes for three. Can't get it. Fajardo with the offensive board. It's got to be big here. And the foul's going to be called against Eloy Vargas. Oh, I don't know what I'd like to see more. I'd love to see the confidence of Kai Soto pulling up for a three-pointer. Or do I like seeing Juma Fajardo really fight for an offensive board? 
Well, you know, you've got the old and the young there on that play. So, uh, you know, what does the 21-year-old Soto get? Matched up with Carl Towns and the pull-up three. Uh, and then, of course, Jumar's been doing this for years. Such a strong presence down low and on the boards. Yeah, we talk about history here, having over 45,000 fans inside the building. Something we don't see in modern-day international or NBA basketball is having two centers as your power forward and your center on the court. Yeah, that's true. Really big lineup for both teams out there right now. Uh, curious to see uh, how they use this defensively. Will Kai Soto stay one-on-one -on -one with Carl Towns, or will he receive some help from the perimeter? Well, Juma Fajardo currently playing in the Philippine Basketball Association with San Miguel. Picked up a knee injury in February in Utsunami of Japan at the East Asian Super League. But since then, has recovered just in time for his third FIBA World Cup. He's featured with Gilas in Spain in 2014, China in 2019. My word, historically, arguably one of the greatest PBA players he'll go down as. And you see uh, Angel Delgado checking into the game, another player with. U.S. experience, really a, a, a heavy low down the block, really good low, low post score. For the PBA MVP, Scotty Thompson also checking in for Gilas. Going to play in the backcourt along with Jordan Clarkson. Dominican Republic trying to weather the storm early on in front of this crowd. But this is the man they want to get going. Again, he has a little bit of a quick step there against Kai so That could be a problem for Gilas. Well, he's a problem for anyone, to be honest. You know, it's a tough matchup out on that perimeter. I think the difference when he is out there, their guards need to be pulled in more than that. So we shouldn't see late reacting fouls. We should see guys really crowding him, making him pass the ball early. Well, Carl Anthony Towns, as you mentioned, you know, he is going to have to really, in this game over the next 40 minutes, try to get used to getting to the free throw line and just making every single charity stripe shot he can, especially in front of this, I would say, hostile crowd, but just overly passionate crowd. And, and you know, I think that's where his strength lies, especially if Soto's on him. It's okay. a huge physical advantage. Well, again, Dwight Ramos saving the ball out of bounds. And a wide open layup, but it was a rejection there. The Philippines need to take care of the rebounds. A great job by the Dominican Republic. Three-point ball game so far. Clarkson has another wide open three. Pulls up for this one. Still can't get it to drop. Yeah, these are good looks for him. Uh, you see him shaking his head there. Well, here's a clear mismatch. Towns looking to take on another foul. It's going to be caught again. Count it! Well, Cat gets the at one. He's going back to the charity stripe. Three-time NBA All-Star. Just dominating on the floor right now. And you can see that physicality. You know, he's uh, just so much stronger than Soto out on the perimeter. But as I was saying earlier, where's the help from the guards? You know, you can't leave him on an island. Uh, we need to see more, more of that uh, off-ball help. Oh, that's a good point you made there. But then, you know, the question I have for you is, you know, if you come and double-team Carl Anthony Towns, you, know, you have the big danger of leaving so many wide-open shooters on the perimeter. You know, I think it's less that you're running at him and more that you're showing him a crowd. So he's not going to be comfortable putting his head down, dribbling through bodies. But if he sees the lane, he's going to take it. And that's what we've seen on these last two possessions. Well, Coach John Ray is not taking any chances right now, changing Kai Soto for AJ Adu, identifying that Adu probably has the quickest step to defend Carl Anthony Towns on the perimeter. Scotty Thompson, a member of the possibly the greatest franchise in the history of Philippine basketball, Inebra. Well, Thompson turning it over. Clarkson coming back up with it. Kicks out. Thompson wide open. Three is up. Three is good. And this whole crowd just erupts into electricity. And interesting that Thompson playing on the ball with Clarkson off the ball when he came in. Well, Ramos trying to be aggressive. There's a little floater in the lane. Doesn't get it. Well, that's a good look. He's got to finish that one down. LJ Figueroa. Again, it's a, well, that's a very interesting decision, I think. Yeah, I think he, he might have got a, got a little lucky break there. Uh, but, but, you know, I think they're trying to find moments where Clarkson doesn't have to handle everything. Uh, you know, Thompson also a capable shooting guard. So are they going to interchange, or are they going to keep Thompson as the primary point when he's in the game? Well, A.J. Adu coming out of the game. So without Carl Anthony Towns, Sean Reyes trying to adapt his lineup to a smaller play. Jamie Malonzo. 
He did feature for Gila so many windows, but it's another turnover. He trying to put a bit of pressure, but no problem in transition. And a beautiful attack by Mendoza. Rigoberto, another steal. Right now, the Dominican Republic. Coach, they want this game a little bit more. Hey, you know, there's definitely an intensity there. Uh, I, I think they came in knowing how important this was going to be. Well, Juba having an isolation now. Bumping goes for the tough fadeaway. The big man just goes to work. A strong move by Juma Fajardo. And important that Gilas does find a balance in their offense. It can't just be Clarkson all the time. Well, Clarkson has one foul. Great defense. Buchanan Dominican Republic extending the three-point lead. Montero going down the lane. There's a contact. He'll be going back to the charity stripe yet again for the Dominican Republic. So far, they've shot five free throws. This is going to be seven free throws already here in the first quarter. Now, defensively, is that something that's going to be a big concern for Chart Reyes in the timeout? Well, I think it's got to be. Uh, you know, obviously, Carl Anthony Towns was giving them problems with penetration. Uh, especially in these early games, you, you want to make them earn it from the perimeter. Everybody's a little jittery. You don't want to let them find a rhythm from free throws and easy baskets. And Montero missing the first free throw. Extending the Dominican Republic's lead to four points. So far, the defense by the Dominican players has been simply suffocating. But Gila's hanging in there at the moment. Tries to try to go for penetration. On the turn on there, have numbers. But Figueroa looking to go all the way. And Figueroa, buenas noches. He just said good night to Manila. Standing the Dominican Republic's lead to six points. And let's try to get into a half court set. Clarkson looking for an isolation now, going in the key. It's an acrobatic service shot, but at the moment, Jordan Clarkson clearly the only offensive threat here for Gilas. Yeah, an interesting matchup there. They've got uh, the young player Montero matched up with him. Big size advantage for Clarkson in that matchup. Well, three is wide up by Montero. Then he took the gamble. Fajardo coming up with it. The Dominican Republic will live with those offenses because they are wide open looks. But another foul has been called. The chair got seen right now, giving it to the referee. And the home crowd giving it to Garcia. Yeah, and you see uh, Dominican Republic quickly switching that matchup, putting a bigger body there with uh, Mendoza. Well, here's the throwdown. And again, just took off and said one more time, muchos gracias. Well, that's one way to silence the crowd in this game. Still a four-point lead. Clarkson trying to dribble us down here for the last shot. Going to pick and roll with Juma Fajardo. Clarkson hesitating, almost lost it. Bit of contact, hangs in the air, can't get it. A great defense by the Dominican Republic, and at the end of the first quarter, it is the home team currently trailing by four points. 22 to 18, their opening game of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Well, so far, Nessa Garcia probably relatively okay with how his players have started this game. Yeah, I think so. You know, to only be shooting one for eight from three, still coming out of that quarter with the lead. He's probably feeling pretty good about that. Good start so far from Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, every time he's got the ball, he only has six points, but you can see it really has been a collective effort from the Dominican players. Yeah, and you know, he's really been giving Gillis a lot of problems on the perimeter with his physicality, putting it on the deck, getting to the free throw line, drawing fouls. Well, key thing right now going forward, here are some of the top plays in the first quarter. Well, Dwight Ramos getting the first field goal, making things happen. But another key thing, though, for the Philippines, too many turnovers. Yeah, absolutely. They've got to take care of the ball, make sure that they're getting a quality shot on the offensive end. Well, here's the backdoor play. Again, it's been quite beautiful basketball so far from the Dominican players. But again, they've had some costly turnovers themselves, but here was a three-on-one. Carl Anthony Towns just doing enough to keep Pagoy off the layup. With the follow-up by A.J. Adu. Well, Eloy Vargas. You know, what is it about him that makes him such a, a great player for this Dominican team? Well, you know, he's seen it all, right? So, I mean, he's he's that calming veteran presence for so many of these guys. Uh, and obviously, he still brings a defensive presence to the floor. He's a big body, rebounds well, and can protect the rim. 
Well, clearly, Charles Reyes saw that there was a defensive mismatch in which Colin Anthony Towns was guilt causing all sorts of problems to Kai Soto. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is the QR code for courtside 1891. Make sure you subscribe to get all the best stream schedules and scores. Currently, it is the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Uh, Coach, if you're Nessica Thea, what, what do you think you're saying to your players right now during this interval of the first quarter? Um, I think he's got to be positive. You know, they didn't shoot the ball really well from three, uh, yet here they are with a four-point lead. They kept Clarkson in check. I think a few of those shots that Clarkson got, he can make. So, you know, making sure that his guys are, are aware. Uh, but all in all, he's got to feel pretty good. Well, Jordan Clarkson, as we mentioned, so far becoming the one-two go play for Gilas Filipinas. But they need other players to step in and step up if they're going to get a victory here tonight. Remember, this game is so crucial because it could be one of the games that decides who finishes in second place. Yeah, absolutely. I think both teams came into this matchup really thinking that a battle for second place in the group. Well, Thompson being heavily defended. Gilas trailing by four points. Dominican Republic just trying to deal with the presence of the home crowd. Clarkson going behind the back. Puts on a little floater again. Jordan Clarkson just putting on a clinic right now here. And maybe that's the shot that gets him going. You know, we all know he's he, he can light up with the best of them. And so far, he has been the one-two option. The question will be for the next three quarters, can other players chip into the action? I think got it by Dwight Ramos. That's a pump fake. They're going to pull a foul against Scotty Thompson. the move here I mean, he is just taking Mendoza as they were saying Spanish back to La Escuela giving him a school lesson at the moment and the home crowd they love the occasion well, it's an interesting matchup defensively Dwight Ramos defending Colin Anthony Towns Towns going for a step back takes a three-pointer and the three-time NBA All-Star just punishes Dwight Ramos and there you see his skill set on display First quarter, he's putting that on the deck into the rim there. He hits the step back three. Well, Mendoza struggling to defend Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson going in with a floater, can't get it. Nobody battling for an offensive rebound except Juma Fajardo. And now, can the Dominican Republic extend their lead? Well, Cat going for no man's land. And that's way off the mark. It's interesting, we've seen from both teams a, a tendency to really push the ball up the court and go for a quick three pointer. Well, you know, that's really more Gillis style. And there you see Clarkson hang another one. Surprised that the Dominican Republic has also been trying to run like that. Well, Clarkson at the moment getting his first tray ball. Gillis still trailing by two points. But now Cat wants to go in the paint. Cat goes up, doesn't get the ab one. It's an interesting gamble that Gillis is taking right now. Dwight Ramos, about six foot three, six foot four defending. You know, six eleven, seven foot. All Cat's got to do is take him in the low block. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've obviously tried a little bit of everything so far. Really tough matchup for him. I think the thinking was he was hurting them on the perimeter. Let's try to get a smaller, quicker guy. And then, of course, Cat immediately takes him down into the post. So no matter who they put on him, it's got to be done as a team. Cat okay, going to the free throw line for two more shots. Well, Gilas have made a change, so AJ Adu has come back in along with Kiefer Ravenna, another one of the Filipino players that plays in the Japanese B-League for the Shiga Lakes, also played for Luis Hill, who was an assistant coach for Spain last summer on the Scariola when they won the FIBA Euro basket. Cat makes both free throws. You can start to feel the anxiety a little bit from this home crowd. Beginning of the game, you can definitely feel the emotion, the energy. These Gilas fans, they have to be behind their team. 10 seconds there on the shot clock. Alonso looking to isolate. Fouls going to pull it off the one. I think they're going to pull this one against the Republic's Solano. So sideline possession coming up for Gilas. Go back to Clarkson. Clarkson trying to go straight to the bucket. Almost turns it over. Six seconds down. Gonna fade away now. Turns around. Gets rejected. Well, great defense. And now Dominican Republic. 
Okay, good skill by Ravenna. Ravenna finding Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson goes up and throws it down. Yeah. Oh, great defense by Kipa. Unbelievable play. Dominican Republic actually had Figueroa open for the lob instead. It's a steal going the other way. Well, Dominican Republic is smart here. They're going to get another foul pulled against Jordan Clarkson. At that point, the offense is really going to struggle. But an offensive foul is going to be called. I think they're going to call a legal screen against Dominican Republic's number 12, Angel Delgado. Well, here's a dunk. Clarkson just said, good night, Manila. Yeah, huge play by Rivera, and that's, you know, that's their MO. Scrappy defense coming up with plays like that. You listen with the chance to tie the game up. Maybe take the lead if they go for a three-pointer. They have very static offense. Only trying to go in the lane. Finds AJ Adu, and AJ Adu goes up. All of a sudden, Keeper Ravenna picking up two assists already off the bench. And they tie the game up at 27 apiece. Yeah, he's been a great lift for them uh, coming into this game. So got him here in the low block, got it by Fajardo. It's a good matchup for him, but now the Philippines take a gamble. Three is up again, but no good. And now Gilas with a chance to retake the lead. Loxon looking to isolate. Loxon finds Fajardo again. It's too easy right now. Jordan Loxon, hands down, clearly the best player on the court. Absolutely, and, and you can see he's really paced himself throughout this first half, finding his moments at the right time, not getting discouraged with the early missed shots. Well, that was a drive. The don't see came and Juma, one of the greatest players in the history of PBA basketball. Well, we might as well call him Mr. Sam Miguel Beerman, because every fan in Manila, that's how they know him as one of the best ever. Yeah, absolutely. He's been doing it for so long. And, you know, he's really had a calming presence when he's entered this game. I think the lineup that they have has been a solid one. Well, let's go listen out to the Dominican Republic's head coach, Che Garcia, as he pulls his timeout with his players. Some of the key highlights so far from Jordan Clarkson. Clearly, every time he has the ball in his hands. <laughs> what kind of shot as a coach would you call that? <laughs> well, you know, wrong foot, takeoffs. This guy's a bucket. He's going to find a way to score a lot of different ways. Well, you see that shot in Manila. There's a word for it. Anytime this guy takes a shot, these Filipino fans, they say, ooh, we are nah. That is the saying here because every shot he takes, it looks impossible, but he still is able to make it count. And, you know, watch out because he seems to have found a little bit of a rhythm to the game now, and we know he can fill it up in a hurry. Well, Dominican Republic trailing by two points. Structure has been the key thing for this team, along with having a three-time NBA All-Star in Carl Anthony Towns. But he's going for the hesitation. Finds Delgado. Delgado goes for a quick turnaround. It's a beautiful response there. Yeah, great find there from Feliz. <laughs> He was going now with Kiefer Ravenna in the backcourt. Remember, he started in the PBA before going to the B-League, and one of the teams he really made a name for himself was the Enlix Road Warriors. Kiefer goes in off the backcourt. The bank is open, and the former Enlix Road Warrior stepping up big time. Yeah, great finish there. Great minutes playing with a ton of confidence right now. Both the Dominican Republic and the Philippines going back and forth, exchanging buckets. He's going back to Delgado, and again, the pick and roll executed to perfection. That's a tough one there because you can see clearly they're struggling, but you know, Philippines have to find a way to defend that pick and roll with Delgado. Well, they're going to have to pull in more than that. You saw their guards on the perimeter really hugged up. Uh, they're going to have to come in, take away that short roll. Delgado's very good in those situations. Well, Delgado disappointed with the call, but you know, he has no case there because Keeper Ravenna had the position, came from behind. Question is, is this a shooting foul or, or a baseline possession, in your opinion? I, I think this is baseline. Three. 
So we'll be baseline ball now to the Philippines. And that's going to be the Dominican Republic's third team foul of the second quarter. 5.18 to go. These two teams locked in at 31. Well, Clarkson catching a very tough pass, but well, Solano may have a case there. I felt that came off of Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, I agree. And you can see uh, right away Nestor's up uh, to challenge this. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, that's clearly got to be Dominican Republic for four. Well, the officials led by Johan Rosso and Thalazar from Argentina, France. They'll go over and they'll have a review. Let's listen to what they have to say. I think we also have a double technical when we come back. The blue player is touching his last position. This one. And this one, please. This, this. I take it. You need to see who touched the ball last. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Blue, 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 and out of bounds. So after review, the call is overturned. It will be white ball side out. It was a technical foul during the so one free throw. Okay. Well, two referees from France and from Argentina from France. So you can see Johan Rosso refs in the LMB Pro in France. Well, Leonardo Thalazar. Refereeing BCL Americas overchanging the decision. Now, there was a technical foul call, so Gilas is going to get one free throw. Yeah, you know, Angel had something to say on his way out. Uh, probably a few choice words there. He was upset from the previous play, so, you know, obviously hadn't let that go yet. Well, Jordan Clarkson currently joint top scorer in this game with 11 points, as is Carl Anthony Towns. But John's now just to give Gilas a one-point lead with 5.17 to go here in the second quarter. <laughs> the Dominican Republic will get the ball back. Carl Anthony Towns, we mentioned, you know, it's been quite a good start for him so far here in the first half. Yeah, you know, I think it's what we expected. The two, you know, the two NBA stars kind of going head to head, doing it in different ways, but both of them stepping up to perform for their teams. And there's the mismatch they want. Colin Anthony Towns going for a one-legged long two-point shot. Can't get it. Now the Philippines leading by one, looking to extend their lead. Led by this man, Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson looking to go all the way. No foul put, but too big. Too strong, and simply the 2021 most improved play in the NBA is just too good. Yeah, great finish. Solano, you know, guarded him as well as he could, had a hand on the ball, and Clarkson just powers through. The kind of Dominican Republic responded. They've struggled in the last few possessions. Solano looking nowhere to go here. Well, it's going to be a carry violation, surely. So great defense again by Keeper Ravenna. Solano choking under intense pressure. And they're trying so hard to enter the ball to Carl Anthony Towns on the perimeter. Really nice job there from Gillis and denying that. You can see how it took them out of their offense completely. Well, Jamie Malonzo checking back into the game in the backcourt with Jordan Clarkson and Keith Ravenna, but also getting help from AJ Adu to bring the ball up. And Juma got it by Pena, spinning around. Throws it right away. Now Dominican Republic, well, odd foul there by Keith Ravenna. <laughs> Dominican players, he thought that was more of a body check than a natural foul. Well, you know what it is, is a very smart move from Kiefer Vera. You know, he understands how to take that foul without getting the unsportsmanlike. Of course, the son of one of the more famous PBA players as well. What a 30 Ravenna was cut from the team, also plays in the Japanese B League. And 30, I had the pleasure of uh, coaching with Mighty Sports. Well, D3 in the corner, three is up. The three is good. Well, nails that one from downtown. Time to game up at 34 apiece. Dominican Republic and sticking to their principles at the moment. Boxer goes for a quick three. He'll pull up for it. Well, Dominicans have a chance to retake the lead. Trying to go all the way, avoids the block, but again, great defense by Jordan Clarkson. 
Well, going back to that previous play with Clocks and three pointer. Again, another one here in transition. Are these the kind of shots as a coach that you would be happy with? Well, uh, you know, that last one from Kiefer, did a little bit of a heat check. He, you know, he's been feeling good about himself. But with Clarkson, you know, the DR continues to stay in a drop. So why not? Until they start trapping, getting the ball out of his hands, I'm going to be living with, the, with those shots from him. And Jordan Clarkson, as we mentioned, so far leading scorer in this game. He has 14 points at the moment. He's going to maybe head to the bench, take a little bit of a breather with 332. So this will be interesting now for Gilas as Dwight Ramos comes back in without Clarkson. Are they going to have the same offensive input? Well, I'm sure they're just looking to steal maybe a minute here, you know, a defensive possession. They know they can't go long with him off the floor. The free throws so crucial for both the Dominican Republic and for Gilas Filipinas. As we mentioned, one of the greatest players in the history of PBA basketball, Juma Fajardo, Mr. San Miguel Beerman. Mr. Both. Gilas fans anxiously looking on here. It's the Dominican Republic. They'll have a chance to retake the lead. There's a penetration now. Goes all the way and again finishes it. Way too easily off the backboard. Nice move. Yeah, great move there from Victor Lees. You see how fiery he up is after that. Well, Charles Reyes probably has seen enough here. Just had the quick step there against Dwight Ramos. Outside defense by Jamie Malonzo, just too slow to react. Let's see if he comes back with Clarkson already. You know, maybe 30 seconds of him off the floor was enough. I mean, that's so tough when you're playing in a FIBA World Cup and, you know, you're very dependent on one play. We obviously know why Jordan Clarkson is that kind of... Let's listen now to Coach Chott. Going back to all that. Dominican Republic really showing their size and physicality as Quinones keeping this one out in the corner. That perimeter shooting, it has shown quite a bit of promise so far here in the first half. Yeah, I mean, I, I think offensively both teams have, have delivered. Obviously, Clarkson carrying a heavy load uh, for Gilas, but uh, you know, both teams, I think, are playing pretty well. well. Dominican Republic leading by two points so far. Checking into the game is Ren Zabando, currently playing in the Korean Basketball League. Champion this year of Anyang KGC. Also played against some of his Filipino brothers in the East Asian Super League in February. And he's looking for penetration now. As he turns it over. Well, no time for nerves now, but here in the case of Dominican Republic, keep building the lead as much as possible, trying to silence this crowd. Is going to be cooled off the ball. Yeah, game's starting to get really physical on these cuts. You can see a lot of bumping and checking. Well, this one's going to be called against Dwight Ramos. Yeah, we talked about this, and again, yeah, there you can see quickly Chong Ray is wasting no time whatsoever to get Chuck Jordan Clarkson back into the game. Baseline possession now for the Dominican Republic. Lead it by two points. Yeah, can you, you can see it's starting to get a little chippy here. You know, Bondo's a really exciting player, very athletic, uh, and not afraid to put his nose in. Well, Bondo primarily used for his defense and his athleticism. Can't go in for a jump hook, can't get it. He was surviving an offensive rebound, but almost turning it over. Pick and roll. Keeper. Trying to kick out to Renzo Bondo, but again, it's taste of deflection by Delgado. 
That'll be Gilas Ford deep in the sideline. 2.30 to go in the second quarter. And interesting, you know, Gilas has gone small here. Uh, although we see, uh, you know, Carl Anthony Towns coming out of the game. But, uh, you know, there were some post mismatches there that I thought maybe could have been exploited. Well, Duke coming back out as Juma Fajardo comes back in. Probably going with Ren Zabano, Carl Anthony Towns, he'll go to the bench. Nathi Garcia just managing his minutes with his three-time NBA All-Star. The foul is going to be pulled against Quinones, and that's that's too foul. Silly foul to pick up, because now he's going to send Jordan Clarkson to the charity strike. Yeah, and, you know, I can actually understand his frustration. I think there was a lot of physicality early in the game. I think the refs sensed that it was starting to get a little chippy and want to clean that up. But that's tough for a player. You know, you've been guarding one way, suddenly it's being whistled a different way. It's interesting when you think about some of the teammates he's probably played with. We're talking about a player in Jordan Clarks, remember, who played with LeBron James and also played in an NBA championship as well. And it just goes to show the caliber that he's at. Yeah, no question. And he, he is an elite scorer. He can do it with the best of them. Well, blocks and tying the game up at 36. Mr. Garcia, Cuba America champion in 2015 with Venezuela. The Venezuela national team playing in Okinawa, Japan here in this FIBA World Cup. So these want to go ball screen now with Eloy Vargas. His baseline goes up and again, same play, same result. And how many times is Lee's going to get that back door? Yeah, he's really done a nice job of finding those gaps behind their defense. Clarkson caught sleeping a little bit there. And you can see the entire backcourt defense. Couldn't see where Lee's was. Now Ramos having to deal with the full court pressure. Then trying to go for a real step. Picks out to Dwight Ramos. Almost bit of contact, he'll go to the free throw line. So intelligent play by the man who plays for Hokkaido and uh, Hokkaido Lavenger, excuse me. Interesting story about Dwight Ramos. Played NCAA Division I and Division II. Didn't really quite pan out in his home state of California, but then went and played for Antoneo, one of the top university programs here in the Philippines. Under Tab Baldwin. Got the feature for the Gilas National, then went and played the B League. I mean, his story is a, is a magnificent story. Again, it just goes to show with players through heritage, there is definitely a great basketball country to play for here in the Philippines. Yeah, no question. Uh, you know, obviously uh, finished up at Cal Poly Pomona, and here he is now playing in Japan uh, and, and only continuing to improve. Well, free throws at the moment, keeping the Philippines in this game. Question is now, can the Dominican Republic start to build the momentum. Quinones trying to go baseline. Goes up, avoids the block. Milo Vargas gets caught. No jump, ball called. They go for three in the corner. No good. Bajardo comes up, and now they have numbers. Goes the alley-oop, and almost connected with it. And the one play you expect to, you know, go for that alley it would be Ren Zabando. And a blocking foul is going to be called against Kiefer Ravenna. Yeah, that pass is a little bit off the mark for him. This crowd was ready to erupt. Lorenzo well, Mondo demonstrating his athleticism when he played in the KBL with Anyang KGC. Two free throws coming up for the Republics. Victor Lee is the captain. And he's had great minutes so far in this first half. You know, really finding a way to get to the rim, put a lot of pressure on the defense. Well, this has been fantastic so far in this game. So far, 12 points from the field. Definitely helping players such as Carl Anthony Towns in terms of the scoring production. Again, if it's going to stay like this as we get towards the end of this game, we are in for a hell of a showdown. Well, you can see the intensity levels and physicality rising, and the refs have tried to keep that in check, but right away it went right back to a lot of chippiness off the ball. So I, I think this whole game is going to be played at that level. Well, 118 to go. Neither of these two teams can commit any more fouls. They will send each other to the free throw line. So defensive discipline needs to be the mindset. Yeah, Ravina coming out of the game 
great minutes from him. Uh, I thought he really uh, provided a huge lift for Gillis. And going with uh, uh, Pagoy in the backcourt. Boxer goes up, draws the contact, and he can. I mean, this guy just gets to the basket whenever he wants. I mean, there's literally, unless you double team, there's no stopping him. Well, you know, that's the thing. They, they really put Quinones on an island. I mean, it was a clear isolation set at the top of the key, but you see the perimeter guards are hugged to their men. I think when Clarkson has it, you just have to have a game plan that you're off your man, you're trying to crowd, and you're trying to force him to be a passer, not a scorer. Clarkson making the first free throw. Think about it, you know, it's possible that the last six, eight points from the Philippines has been scored from the charity strike. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, Nestor's team's usually very disciplined defensively. I, I would expect to see them clogging lanes a little bit more, making Gillis beat them from the outside. And just over a minute to go. Dominican Republic trying to go for a triple handoff on the bull screen with Eloy Vargas, finds the big man. Big man gets rejected. Oh, Juma Fajardo, no foul called, and Vargas is going to get it back, and now he throws it down. Well, Clark's infuriated. He felt this should have been a foul called. Yeah, that's a big sequence right there. Unbelievable pass and block. Clarkson looking to attack here. Almost turning it over. Finds a bando. A bando goes up, and Maga Danka B. Good night. From the man who plays in the KBL. That's a big time dunk, and that just lifts the spirits of these Filipino fans here. Two seconds difference between game and shot clock. These two teams tied at 42 apiece. But he's going for penetration. And that's good defense by Dwight Ramos. Fox has got a bit of time now. Pulls up, half court. Puts the side of the backboard, and ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, the Dominican Republic, well, look at this. That was a throwdown. That's what you have to say in Manila. Uwiana Hayop Panis throws it down with no authority. Introduce yourself to the world. Renza Bondo, KBL champion. Well, Dominican Republic and the Philippines locked into 42 apiece. I mean, Coach, this has been great stuff so far. Yeah, you know, unbelievable first half. Lots of uh, uh, excitement from the crowd, of course, but the intensity levels from both teams has been fun to watch. It's been a lot of physicality. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if that continues in the second half. Well, Chad said going into this halftime talk, I mean, you talked about his teams being defensively very organized. Is that going to be the key talking point at halftime? Yeah, you know, I think I, I was a little surprised at how much they've allowed Clarkson to stay on the ball. You know, I expect them to see a little bit more aggression. I know that their primary pick and roll defense is the drop, but having those guards pulled in a little bit more, make him be a passer, make some of these other guys for Gilas beat you. Well, the Philippines do have one more rebound, but uh, you can see the Dominican Republic five more assists. But these two teams, same field goals with inside the rainbow, same amount of three-point field goals, and same free throws. Difference, of course, Jordan Clarkson, 18 points in the game. Nobody else in double figures. While well, Liz and Carl Anthony Towns combined total of 25 points so far here in the first half. And what would Sean Reyes be saying to his players? I think he's got to feel happy about it. You know, it took them a little while to find their pace. Obviously, Clarkson missing some easy ones early on. But, you know, once he did and found that rhythm, they flowed off of him, which is what you would expect. Well, there you can see the matchup of two NBA superstars, three-time NBA All-Star, Carl Anthony Towns, and the sixth man of the year in 2021. Well, this is FIBA World Cup basketball. Best players wanting to play for their countries right now, the Dominican Republic and the Philippines. Again, Clarkson, you know, maybe he could finish with a triple-double tonight. I mean, the way he's playing and the amount of the, the balls in his hands, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, here are some key highlights. Jordan Clarkson just doing a bit of shake and bake. Well, again, he just goes in with a little teardrop, but, you know, it'd be interesting to know, does Che Garcia go and say, listen, guys, they've only got one player out there. Let's double team. Could you see that happening? Well, I would just expect more aggression from the perimeter. You know, their bigs have not stepped out and pick and roll defense throughout their, their tune-up games, so that would be a big adjustment for them. But to see the guards hugged on the perimeter is surprising. You know, Gillis doesn't have a ton of shooting outside of Clarkson. I would want to see those guys pulled in and really make Clarkson a passer. Well, there was the backdoor play, fine, AJ. I think he didn't know whether he wanted to lay that up 
or dunk it. But again, nice facilitation there by Jordan Clarkson, finding Juma Fajardo. And as you mentioned, Dominican Republic, I mean, if they step up their defense, and, you know, the intensity with more aggression, as you mentioned, they probably could win this game. Oh, for sure. I mean, they got to feel good about where they're at. Uh, you know, Clarkson has also played really big minutes. So is that going to wear on him? And maybe that's their game plan, that they were waiting until he was tired before they came with a little bit more aggression. So we'll just have to see what they do coming out of the half. Well, Victor Lees, as we see at the moment, currently two for four for the perimeter. And there's a dunk by Renzo Bondo. Bondo went baseline, trying to throw that one down. I think Eloy Vargas has said, I'm getting out of the way. But ladies and gentlemen, we will be back in just over 11 minutes for the second half of these two teams' first game of the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. A few of those guys knock down shots. Hike. How about? Well, oh, nice pass. Oh, it's an alley -oop. Jokic makes it look so easy. Yeah, everything makes it look easy. Clava, nice bang, Clava, into it, he heard that Gomez, oh my word, what a move, what a drive initially, attack the basket, then the bounce pass came. Gowry, back out to EJ, and leaves his man on the floor, and throws it down.
like do that, so you have no idea. You just see people doing weird faces with your Marco. <laughs> Well, welcome back, Basel fans, here for the second half of the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup matchup between the Dominican Republic and the Philippines. Well, again, it's almost like a presidential halftime at the moment. We have the president of FIBA, president of the Philippines. I mean, the president's everywhere right now. <laughs> well, I think that tells you how important a game this is, and uh, obviously, what a crowd here we've got tonight. Well, the players coming on to get pictures. Jack Vagula there with the number one man here in the country, this beautiful country, the Philippines. About 45 years ago, they hosted the FIFA World Cup here, and we'll be there tomorrow night at the Adanet Arena where the former Yugoslavia were crowned champions. The Philippines didn't win any game in that tournament, but they did finish eighth. The United States actually finished in fifth place, but just now, I think the Gillis players, I'm not sure if they're coming on to warm up or get a picture with the president <laughs> well I think they know what's the most important thing and that's having the president uh, being supportive of you so whatever uh, coach Reyes had drawn up we're throwing that out the window oh, it's amazing as well because it just you want to know how popular basketball is in this country well when you were coaching Angola in 2019 and I was commentating the Philippines were in that group I had to leave the arena partially the, the former president of the Philippines had traveled to watch the game then. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we remember that moment as well. So uh, it's just a testament as to how important basketball is to this country. Well, basketball, as we mentioned, every person in this country, men and women, love this game with so much passion. It's hard to explain, of course, PBA, one of the oldest, if not the oldest professional basketball league in the very world. That is, but now we're just over a minute away from returning to the court. I'm not sure the players are going to have any time to warm up here, but nonetheless, they're going to have to kick start into action right away. Well, you can see so far, Jordan Clarkson, seven assists away from getting a potential double-double. Well, Juma Fajardo leading the rebound so far here for Gilas Filipinas. And now the man, the myth, the legend, Char Reyes. That man, of course, Jordan Clarkson leading the way. You know, many players do struggle to adapt the NBA game to the international game. His is very, you know, it's very unique because he does bring a little bit of that NBA style into the FIFA game. Well, and, you know, I think I think that Philippines has done a good job of, of sort of catering to him, right? They understand he has to carry a big load for them. He hasn't set him up in an offense that would be foreign to him. So the ball is in his hands, primarily been a lot of spread pick and roll, things that he's comfortable and used to. Well, Victor Lee's that man, top scorer so far for the Dominican Republic. You saw 14 points, two rebounds, and two assists. He has two three-point field goals. I apologize, he actually has one assist. My apologies on that, but you have to go here. Carl Anthony Towns back in the starting lineup. Philippines going also with another very big lineup as well. Both A.J. Adu and Juma Fajardo. Oh, coach, I'm loving this. We have two centers currently as our post players on both these two teams. It's seldom you see that in today's game. Well, you know, I think uh, Coach Reyes has decided that A.J. Du is the man for Carl Anthony Towns, so they'll probably match those minutes whenever they can. They'll try and get an isolation with Cat in the post. Cat going out now. That's the bottom line. It's going to be a two. No. That was a three-point shot, but unable to knock it down. You know, maybe the fact the players weren't able to come out here and get a solid halftime break, but ladies and gentlemen, you saw the QR code there for the FIBA Barca World Cup. Make sure you use that QR code to download the app on your smartphone, your tablet, or your Android to get all the best news, stats, and highlights that matters to you most. The FIBA official Barca World Cup app. 
the question I was going to ask you is that, you know, these two teams didn't really have much time to warm up at halftime when they came back from changing. Could that be something that affects the first few minutes of the third quarter? I mean, it definitely could. Interesting that the DR's first play drawn up was to bring Towns off the of stagger screens for a three. So still haven't seen him down on the block a whole lot. Well, dude looking to isolate here against Eloy Vargas. Experience up against a rookie professional. Traveling violations going to be called against AJ Adu. Yeah, good pressure there. Interesting that they're cross-matching. So, you know, the DR wanted to keep uh, Vargas on Adu and not on Aguilar. Well, the Philippines currently have AJ Adu, Jordan Clarkson, Japheth Aguilar, R.R. Pagoy, and Dwight Ramos on the court. But Feliz being heavily guided by Pagoy. But puts the moves on. Feliz goes in and just takes him right down the lane. Clarkson so far leading the score in the game with 18 points. He's being guided by Carl Anthony Towns. Philippines trying to build something here in their offense. No way to go for Clarkson. Has to take a tough fade away, but somehow still gets it to drop. And again, Coach, he's on fire right now. Yeah, he's really in a good rhythm. You could see, uh, you know, Towns pulled in a little bit more, but still, uh, you know, I just I think they're allowing him to get away with too much. Or well, pulled an offensive foul here. Uh, they pulled this one against Quinones, or was it an illegal screen that was set? I think the refs are on hyper alert. Uh, you, you know, both teams a little chippy, a little physical. I'm sure there's something that they talked about at halftime. Well, Clarkson put in the arc on that one. Again, that's a tough play there by Jordan Clarkson. He's going to have to get between 30 and 40 points here tonight if the Philippines are going to pick up a victory. Goes up again for the mid-range. Can't get this one. Dominican Republic with a chance to retake the lead. And Towns throws a tough pass, but it's a costly turnover. And something, Nessa Garcia right now turns his back to his players. Yeah, those easy turnovers uh, I, I know are frustrating. You know, Nestor's teams traditionally really take care of the ball, typically play at a slower place. Uh, so that, that one's a hard one for him to watch. Boxing being defended in the full court. Dominican Republic have one team out, but good defense by Victor Lees. They have numbers now. That's going to be the second personal foul against Jordan Clarkson. Smart play there by Lees. And that's what I expect to see more of. You know, full court pressure, trapping, really trying to wear him down. You know, they've allowed him to kind of play to his rhythm up until this point. Well, not too much concern for the Philippines, but Clarkson has picked up his second. In the air. I'm surprised that's not two free throws there. I mean, that's interesting as well, but... Fignone is trying to put a bit of shake and bake. Finds Vargas. Fumbles it, turns it over to get the Dominican Republic. Failing to take care of the basketball. Ramos kicks out. The boys made one three. Can he make another one again? Six out one. And this arena again just finds his voice. Yeah, and the turnovers once again biting the DR there. I, I know uh, Coach Garcia is really frustrated with that. For the whole crowd now, rallying behind their players, but Feliz goes for another three point. That's way off the mark. And you can sense a little bit of nerves, maybe a bit of anxiety coming out from the halftime break from the Dominican Republic. Yeah, and you know, that's where they need to find their anchor. Uh, you know, see if they can get Carl Anthony Towns back on those elbows, let him get something easier than coming off the screens. Well, defense needs to be key here now for the Dominicans. Boy coming off a ball screen. There's a bit of contact. That's going to be a travel violation, I think. Yeah, good pull by the official. Well, the home crowd expected he was going to be an M1, but you know, great pull by Johan Rosso, a French referee from the LMB, Pro La France. Yeah, you can see it right there, shuffling his feet. Uh, the referee right on top of that one. Well, the home crowd, again, there were a lot of, you know, a lot of questions coming in for this opening game. When are they going to be able to set the new record? I can tell you one thing, this atmosphere, atmosphere has been unbelievable so far here tonight. Yeah, everything uh, you would expect from Filipino fans. Uh, just a great environment to play in. I'm winding down here. Towns trying to bully his way to the basket. But no foul court. 
Oh, coach, that might be the most delayed. I mean, it's the right call. I think it was just over delayed, though. Yeah, and uh, I really like where they got the ball. I think. I think that's where I would be really trying to focus on. When he's catching in that mid post, he's just too big, too quick for those guys. You know, out in the perimeter, they can get help a little bit quicker. Uh, but, you know, obviously the foul there. Well, Towns looking to go to work here. Trying to take on AJ doing the post. It gets the at one. He'll go to the free throw line. And Cat is just dominating right now. And he is talking a bit of trash out there. Yeah, and I really like that adjustment from Coach Garcia. You know, moving him down low, finding mid post, finding low block. You know, Vargas, I think, can still play alongside with him. Obviously not as a perimeter five, but, uh, you know, they have physical advantages. Well, Dominican Republic getting ready to make a change as Jean Montero comes into the game. So checking out is Lester Quinones. Had a fantastic year playing in the NBA G League this summer. One. Now Cat here with a chance to tie the game up. These two teams locked in so far since the very first quarter. And will we see pressure again on Clarkson? You see a full court pickup here. Well, Carl Anthony Towns moving up to 14 points. Every free throw really has to count here for both these two teams. So far, the Dominican Republic putting Victor Lees here against Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson split the defense down, goes into the layup again. This man will not be denied. Getting to the basket time and time again. Kyle Anthony Towns may be getting away with a the travel there, but at the moment, as we say, there's nobody in the backcourt who's able to defend Jordan Clarkson. The same could be said for the Philippines frontcourt. Yeah, and, you know, this is what we expected coming in. I mean, the two NBA stars going head to head, doing it in different ways, uh, as we see Clarkson finishing over there. But I I'm just surprised that we haven't seen adjustments to make other players step up. You know, both guys have been able to get the ball uh, and, and, and really get to the basket without a ton of interference. Are we going to see a little bit more trapping as we move forward? Okay, stepping up to the free throw line. So far, he's been very, very good from the charity stripe here this evening. He's only missed one free throw so far, eight for nine. And that could be a big difference between these two teams come the long run. And he's done a really good job of, of drawing that, you know, that contact on his penetration. Uh, I, I think that's something that he really has an advantage there. Obviously, Adu giving up a ton of size. As you mentioned, Philippines supporting players trying to play around Jordan Clarkson. But for them to be successful, he's got to have a big game inside. It's again, Juma Fajardo. The one-two punch with Jordan Clarkson. Working to perfection so far. Still a two-point ball game. Not good about going for the three-pointer. Time winding down is Victor Lees. Also, long one takes its way off the mark. Philippines come up with a loose ball. Can they extend the lead now? I feel like any basket at this point, he just set this crowd up, but another turnover, the great shots here by the Dominican Republic. Well, Feliz left wide open, he goes for the three, counted! That's a big time shot, as he gives the Dominican Republic a one point lead. Yeah, huge play from Feliz, and that's what I'm expecting more of. Have these guards pulled in, ready to strip the ball when Clarkson tries to drive. Clarkson looking to attack now, splits the defense, puts up another little teardrop. Nobody apart from A.J. Adu going into that offensive rebound. Great defense by Adu. Towns goes in all the way and again, simply unstoppable. And now the Philippines head coach, Sean Reyes, he's seen enough. He's going to have to pull timeout. Yeah, that's a great take. Towns starting from the perimeter, getting all the way to the rim. We've seen that several times for him, just using that strength to, to really bully Adu off the ball a little bit there. Well, Carl Anthony Towns moving up to 18 points so far in the game, only four rebounds. But again, his free throws have been simply crucial so far for the Dominican Republic. Let's go and listen now to Coach Sean Reyes. Thank you. 
Interesting stat that we saw from the bench contribution. Only 11 points coming from the Dominican bench, or 15 coming from the Philippines. Yeah, you know, interesting there. Uh, I mean, obviously we knew that that starting group, Clarkson, uh, Fergilis, Towns for Dominican Republic, were going to carry a lot of that scoring load. Well, Dominican Republic at the moment holding on to a slender lead been back and forth between these two teams playing quite big basketball so far with two bigs but 22 points for Jordan Clarkson up coach you sense it might be a bit of physical fatigue going on with Clarkson now yeah you know he's pretty good at pacing himself so I think he has more burst in him a uh, little surprised that they haven't come back with Kiefer Ravina you know I think I, what that allowed Clarkson to do is play off the ball a little bit more Kiefer Ravina was able to create a lot for them well, Clarkson goes back door, finds Ramos, the three is up, the three is good. Well, it could be Dwight time if he gets cooking from the three-point line. Yeah, big shot there, really needed that coming out of that timeout. Well, emotionally and mentally, that just keeps the crowd in this game. But here's the man who needs to stop, the three-time NBA All-Star. Thompson goes to the double team, Montero for three, can't get it. Well, he lets down the shots to retake the lead. Exciting stuff here in their first game. The 2023 FIBA World Cup. Well, Vahado's looking for a post up here against Vargas, but they don't get the ball to him. Ten seconds winding down now. Thompson going in. Hanebra, man, never say die. That's a slogan from all these Hanebra fans. And there's their MVP, Scotty Thompson. Yeah, really clever finish there. Great change of pace. And finds Vargas. Vargas goes in, draws a foul again. It's going to be two free throws. With excellent execution by the Dominican Republic. Yeah, great kick out on that play there for Clarkson. He's shown he can't be that playmaker when he's getting downhill. Uh, and, you know, I think it's important for him that he does get these stretches where he's off the ball. Played 19 minutes in the first half, probably will play something similar in the second. Well, Dominican Republic have been great so far from the free throw line, but again, Vargas just missing that one. Well, that's his first free throw tonight, and that's only the third missed free throw tonight as well. Well, Townsend, Juma, Fajardo getting locked up on the box out. Three thirty to go here in the third quarter. The Philippines. Holding on to a one-point lead. This is their first game of the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Well, Thompson just turning it over. Boxing doesn't want to commit another foul here. But again, unable to secure it. Eloy Vargas had the follow-up. Ramos, if he makes this big time. Oh, baby! That is Reggie Miller in a Gilas Filipinas top. Wow, huge shot there. Big confidence. Way to step up in the moment there from Ramos. Well, I said it in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers. Dwight Ramos, when he hits three-pointers, he becomes the Filipino Reggie Miller. A great job again by Carl Anthony Towns during the contact. Well, Anang Oras Nangayon, let me tell you, it is Dwight Ramos time. He is going to be cooking it out there. Yeah, big shot, obviously coming off with a lot of confidence, and they needed that. Well, the man who's played for two clubs so far in the Japanese B-League has yet to taste Japanese B-League playoff. Playoffs, of course, but again, he's going back for his third year with Hokkaido Lavenga. Now the Gilas Filipinas making a double change. AJ Adu is going to check out the game. Japan Vagular Malonzo coming in. Anthony Towns has been great so far from the free throw line. Only one missed free throw. And let's see if uh, the DR presses here. You know, that was something they did a lot more of in their tune-up games. I'm surprised that they haven't tested the Gilas guards a little bit more with Clarkson being off the ball right now. Well, 
Well, Cat continued to demonstrate his excellence so far, and a reason why he is a three-time NBA All-Star. 11 to 12 on the free throw line for Carl Anthony Towns. Ramos going in. Aguilar trying to go for the follow-up. Now the Dominican Republic can try to tie the game up here in transition. Not being got, and another foul is going to be cool. A traveling violation. Well, coach, let me know your thoughts on that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm really surprised. Uh, you know, I thought Aguilar had hands on him from the beginning. Yeah, what I like there, the professionalism of Kyle Anthony Towns. Clearly, he doesn't agree with the call, but doesn't show much emotion whatsoever. He just gets on with it. Well, you know, that's something he improved on. So, uh, you know, having the early ejection in, in their tune-up game, I think, gave him uh, an awareness of how international refs are going to receive that. Well, Dwight going to the lane, doesn't get the ad one, but he will go to the free throw line. And at the moment, Dwight Ramos has the confidence in this young man. What a story he's had in his career. Tried to play NCAA Division I. Didn't work out quite well. Then he came to play for Antoneo on the Tab Baldwin. And now making himself a household name to give us basketball in the Japanese B League. But unfortunately, every great player has to step up to the free throw line and deliver. Well, Ramos makes the second one. Now it's a three point ball game with 2.24 to go. The Dominican Republic need a response here. Trying to go this dribble handoff. Goes in the lane now, puts up a teardrop again. <laughs> That's a tough play. You know, you can't forget Montero, just 20 years old, one of the leading scorers in the ACB last year, you know, product of the overtime elite program. I mean, this guy can fill it up too. Well, turns it over now, Montero's got it. Alonso to get the rejection. And hey, yo, Chapman yeah, Vagulai, yeah, yeah. shot Reyes, I'm infuriated. Because the block was made, nobody made an effort to get back on defense. Yeah, and it's plays like that that lose you games. Well, Dominican Republic retaking the lead by one point. Loxon looking to attack now. Splits the defense, comes up and again, Carl Anthony Towns gets the block. But they're gonna call a foul. Well, Coach, I don't know, that looked clean to me. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, there's probably a lot of frustration there. That physicality's kind of been going both ends for a while. Look at Clarkson right there. And they come. Yeah, you know, that that's a tough one. Credit to Carl Anthony Towns. You know, he learned from that Spain game. He's too important to this team to be ejected or get technicals. I think he is handling himself well, though. Well, Clarkson missing the free throw. But does have a chance to tie the game up at 61 apiece. Well, Josh, you know what they say, the ball don't, don't lie. lie. I had no idea <laughs> the great Rasheed Wallace was in the house here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he travels everywhere. McLaughlin makes the second one. 61 apiece, these two teams locked in. 90 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Then it's a group eight. McLaughlin, great defense, and an unsportsmanlike foul there. Now, this is going to be interesting because was it contact? Yes. Was there a foul? Was it intentional, though? That's the question. Honestly, I, I don't think it was. Uh, you know, I think a veteran player in the international game would know how to do that, but Carl Anthony Towns hasn't played enough international games, I think, to pull that off. Uh, I, you know, it's curious, too. He's had a little bit of jawing with the referees, and, and that call maybe is a buildup from some of that. That case there, I'm going to have to personally look in. I'm not an expert in any case whatsoever. I've got to side with Carl Anthony Towns. Clearly, I think he lost his balance, but you know, no doubt it's a foul, of course, but did he need to be upgraded? That's the question. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think that's a hard call for him. Um, I can see it both ways, you know, that's a tough one. But again, I think it's a product of, of him talking to the refs about some of these other sure, calls. Sure, absolutely, so, yep. You know, he's got to be careful. Like, they, they can't have what happened against Spain happen here. Well, we have three of the best referees in the business right now. Shallons, got the Shallons, Leonardo, Salazar, Johan Rosso. And so far, they have done an excellent job of cooling this game. Philippines with a one-point lead. Ramos looking to isolate. He's made two threes here so far. Goes for a deep one, can't get it. Cat gets a rebound. And you know, with Pena in the game now, this gives Cat an opportunity to get down low, which is where I'd really love to see him. 
Well, that's another team foul, but now it's going to send Carl Anthony Towns to the free throw line. It's going to be against Japheth Aguilar. Also, it's very good to see John Wachiko, the assistant coach of the Philippines, who did have a medical scare last year, had to go into hospital. But again, great to see him doing very well and looking very healthy as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Carl Anthony Towns, 11 for 12 from the charity stripe. At the moment, looking very automatic. So the Philippines have got to think, trying to not keep this guy going to the charity strike because he's not missing at the moment. Well, Kai Soto at the moment, physically not being able to match up here with Carl Anthony Towns. But still a lot of promise and a lot of potential for that young man. Yeah, interestingly, they haven't gone back to him here in the second half, so a little bit of a short leash there. Thompson in the backcourt. Finding Clarkson. Dominican Republic trying to be aggressive here. Clarkson finds Aguilar. Aguilar goes in, somehow gets that one to drop. And the defense follows JC. Everybody starts to get wide open. Yeah, and credit to Clarkson. He's made the right play every time he's gotten in there, whether that's drop-offs, kick-outs, or finishing himself. Well, that could have been a potential two-for-one for the Philippines. But they're going to need to get a stop on defense. Oh, again, wide open under the basket. It's just too easy for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, great look there from Pena, the veteran. Not only a shooter, but showing he can pass it, too. Well, slight delay in game now. I think there was a little bit of time left between the game clock and the shot clock. And that's probably why our official, Johan Rosso, is just going to sort out with the tables. Well, this is your first ever time calling a FIBA Barca World Cup. So far, we've seen two great games today. Yeah, how lucky have we been? Uh, you know, we shot knew we were going to have... Shot game clock, shot clock. Shot clock, 24 seconds. Indeed, our official, Johan Rosso, one of the top referees in international basketball, who said week in, week out. I mean, this guy was refereeing games this season with Victor Wembanyama. <laughs> so somebody, somebody who I am um, lucky enough to spend some time with uh, this coming season, so. Well, I'll tell you what. No doubt, of course, it's going to be a very exciting season for you in the NBA G League when you start to work with the Austin Spurs. I mean, I mean, how excited are you to be going back home first? Yeah, you know, it's a really great opportunity. Thankful to uh, Coach Pop for, for bringing me back into the fold and obviously an exciting time there in San Antonio with Victor being there. Well, the difference right now is because there's 18 and 7, 10 seconds left in the third quarter. There's going to be 18 seconds on the shot clock. But regardless, if the Philippines are smart here, they will go for the very last shot. Dominican Republic leaded by solely one point, 65 to 64. And if I'm the DR here, this might be one of those times where I am going to run a trap. Uh, you know, we haven't seen that look from them yet. You know Clarkson's going to get the ball here, probably isolate the top of the key. Let's see how they handle this defensively. Dwight Ramos inbounding this for Gilas, trying to find Clarkson. Clarkson heavily defended so far. Figure roll trying to make this difficult for him. Clarkson spinning around, going all the way. John Clarkson goes up and gets rejected. Well, Figueroa with the block shot. Now the Dominican Republic can't go coast to coast. And the shot clock, and a foul's going to be called. So it's going to be two free throws for the Dominican Republic. Well, again, Coach, I want to see the replay of this man. Jordan Clarkson, you know, we thought he had a clear runway going right to the basket, but Figueroa. My goodness gracious. I mean, take a look at this. That is no in mi casa. Two no edis bienvenido. Yeah, that's a really big play. Four point play potentially depending on these free throws. Well, the Philippines unable to secure the loose ball. So two free throws will be coming up here for our officials, I guess. Depending, maybe trying to see what how much time was left on the clock at the time of the foul, or did he get it off in time? But we'll find out. Let's listen to what Johan Rosso and Leonardo Salazar have to now say. The con now contact with the arm, right? Okay. So this is the contact 0.1. The light is not yet 
the ball is released, so 0.1. No, it's okay. We have the contact. Ah, and so the foul is released is after the after the light coming. So we reset the clock to 0.1. It's okay for you. You want what? This, ah, this one. Ah, this one is perfect. This one is perfect. Don't change, don't change, thank you, don't change. It's one, uh, 0 0.1. 0 .1. So the foul remains, the foul is on time and we reset the, sh the game clock on 0 0.1. Two shots. Two shots. 0 0.1. Well, official Johan Rosso just trying to establish how much time is left on the clock. So the Philippines need to send the same vibe back on the floor because it's going to be free throws coming up for the Dominican Republic. At the moment, not exactly too much foul trouble for these two teams. I mean, Angel Delgado. He does have three personal fouls, but that's the only concern for them so far. While well, Jaffa Vagula and AJ Edu, they also have three fouls, but the key thing is going to be Jordan Clarkson. Two fouls, probably two he can give in the fourth quarter at some point. Yeah, you know, to me it's less the foul trouble and more how much energy does he have in the tank. Uh, he's played big minutes. They're going to need him to, to really step up in this fourth quarter and deliver. Uh, and does he have enough in the tank to, to, to do that? Well, 21 points so far in the game for Jordan Clarkson. Second free throw has been made. And we're going to inbound this one at the end of the third quarter. The Dominican Republic holding on to a two-point leader against the Philippines. These two teams, it's their opening game in the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Well, we will show you some stats and some highlights from this game so far. But, you know, Coach, this has been exciting stuff. Uh, what a great game. You know, great atmosphere. Two teams that were evenly matched and knew what the stakes were, and, the, and you know, they've really both delivered so far. Well, there you can see the Philippines, six three-point field goals at 43%. Dominican Republic struggling there in the third quarter, but they are both 53% with inside the rainbow. But again, key difference, Dominican Republic, 18 for 22 from the charity strike. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, they've done a good job of putting pressure. Obviously, Carl Anthony Towns with the majority of those, 13 for 14 from the free throw line so far. Well, let's not forget as well the Dominican Republic, how they got here to the 2023 FIBA World Cup. They made history coming back from 17 points to defeat Argentina, a team who were heavy favorites and knocked them out. Coach Che Garcia's former team as well. Yeah, and I mean, incredible win. Uh, he's done a great job with this program. Obviously has them uh, on the cusp of potentially moving out of the group even. Well, Clarks is leading the scoring so far. Top score in the game, followed up by Carl Anthony Towns, who has 22. But there you can see, Clarkson, you made the good point. Does he have enough energy in the tank? In that case, dishing that one off to Juma Fajardo. And the one-two punch between those two, I mean, it's working. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, Clarkson's been getting downhill all game. Once he's gotten in there, he's made the right reads. Uh, I'm just curious to see if, if the DR will come with an adjustment. Are they going to continue to stay in that drop? be willing to live with whatever his decisions are in the paint, or will we see a little bit more aggression here in the fourth quarter? Well, there is a QR code for Courtside 1891. Make sure you use that QR code and download Courtside to get the best streams, live scores, that matter to you most. 2023 FIBA Barca World Cup hosted here in the Philippines at the Mall of Asia Arena, as well as the only opening game tonight here in the Philippine Arena at Araneta. We're also hosting Japan and Okinawa and of course, in Jakarta, Indonesia. Yeah, also interesting here, Gilas sticking with Thompson at the point. We haven't seen Keeper Rabina come into the game in the second half. I thought he gave them a really nice lift in the first half. Will they bring him off the bench at some point in the fourth quarter? Well, the Philippines are gonna start the fourth quarter, trailing by two points. Dominican Republic trying to hold on to that two-point lead and trying to build on it. Thompson pulls up, finds Fajardo, and again, the big man connects with it. And a nice work there between Thompson. PBA rivals with Hinebra and San Miguel Beerman. Well, 
Neither team's really been able to build any momentum in the third quarter. Montero coming off a ball screen. Kicks out to Feliz. There's a pump fake. Has to go to a little teardrop. Can't get it. And now Clarkson looking to push this one. 24 points so far in the game with Jordan Clarkson. Bumps in the lane. And now he's got 26. Well, Coach, Clarkson is cooking. And, you know, his pace on that fast break is just a great example. Uh, you know, so calm and collected with the ball there. Well, they have the mismatch in the post. Good hands by AJ Adu. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, and you know, interestingly, Coach Garcia came back here with Delgado instead of sticking with Reyes. I would have liked to see them explore that a little more. The shooting of Reyes, put Towns on the low block, see how they handle it. Well, Cap thought about going for the step back. Goes in the lane, can't get it. Ramos to the rebound. Dominican Republic lacking a bit of communication in their offense. Philippines looking to extend this to a two possession lead. Thompson finding Dwight Ramos. Juma, the whole crowd, wanted to isolate. Trying to back down. They're going to pull a foul on the ground against Delgado. That's interesting there, Coach, because I want to ask you this. Did Juma maybe push out with his elbow? Well, you know, it seemed to me in the beginning of the possession, he, he cleared away uh, that bent arm. So, you, know, you see it kind of early there. Came in a little bit after that happened, but you know both bigs obviously going at it. I'd say Juma Fajardo does a good job, but you know it's interesting. It's almost like the home crowd want him to do a, a Shaquille O'Neal move in the post more than he wants to. <laughs> well, those are two bigs that are not afraid of contact. Boxing coming off one ball screen, makes contact. They're going to call an offensive foul. Well, Leonardo Salazar, a referee from Argentina. I think that's the right call in my mind. I mean, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I, I, a lot of European refs probably would have called that a flop, and you can see Clarkson kind of asking for that. So, <laughs> okay, great job by the Dominican Republic to draw the offensive foul against him. Now trying to tie this game up. Well, again, the referee calming things down here, but. Uh, Crowd really infuriated with this. And John Reyes just getting a reminder from the referees. That looks like a lot of ball there. You know, I just think the intensity of the game, the refs can feel that. It's been chippy, it's been physical. Kind of had, a, you know, two plays there. More than anything, they're just trying to gain control of what's going on on the court. Well, it looks like a timeout's going to be called. These two teams will talk it over. I said you at halftime, this is going down to the wire. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the intensity of this game has been there from the jump. Well, Che Garcia has called timeout, so he wants to talk it over with his players. So let's go and listen out to what he has to say as this team currently have two free throws, trailing by two points. Yeah, you know, you see there the 10 offensive rebounds for 10 second chance points, and that's been a real difference in this game so far. Well, there was some early plays there from Jordan Clarkson getting inside the paints. Well, he's been fantastic so far. 26 points, six rebounds, and six assists. Well, four rebounds and four assists away from that triple-double, but, you know, ultimately, I think he'll want to lead with the victory. I mean, for sure, that's what he cares the most about. Uh, you know, the DR sticking with what they do. I mean, they've been a drop team throughout all their tune-up games. Uh, they're, they're willing to live with Clarkson getting downhill on them and, you know, hoping that they can make those finishes difficult for him. Well, big free throws now for Figueroa. Has to deal with the intensity of these fans. Again, missed the first one. And when the Dominican Republic have shot so well from the free throw line this evening, 
That is only their fifth missed free throw. Same as Aquiles Filipinas. Makes a second one. Philippines holding on to a slender one point lead. Sky Thompson here in the backcourt. Yeah, Spanish pick and roll here from uh, Gillis. Ah. Finds AJ do backdoor. Seven seconds here on the shot clock. Philippines. Got to get something going now. Fox has got to shoot it. Forced up a Hell Mary shot. Doesn't get it. Well, the Philippines got to get back here because now Dominican Republic have numbers. These goes up and again, maybe had a bit of contact there, but a beautiful transition. Yeah, great finish there. Number break after uh, the wild shot there from Clarkson. Well, Thompson struggling here in the backcourt. Tries to penetrate, finds a do it. AJ Adu responds down the other end. Back and forth action between the Philippines and the Dominican Republic. Yeah, Gil is going to spread pick and roll, whether it's Spanish pick and roll or they're just regular middle pick and roll. Well, Figueroa attempted, takes a three pointer, can't get it. Clarkson gets the seventh rebound. Clarkson looking to attack now, goes in. He's fouled in the process, so he'll go to the free throw line. I was thinking maybe it might have been a travel there. Yeah, I think uh, I think you can see Feliz here trying to make the same argument. Well, you can definitely see physically this man is fatigued. Mentally, there's no stopping Jordan Clarkson, though. And I, I, I do think fatigue is starting to set in a little bit. Uh, you know, the bigs for the DR, not quite as shifted over onto Clarkson, these pick and rolls as you expect. Towns maybe a little bit winded from that. And I'm sure Clarkson, I mean, he's been having to make plays all night, uh, you know, finding his moments here, but he, he's starting to look a little gassed as well. well gives the Philippines a three-point lead. Again, the Dominican Republic, they need composure because they don't want the Philippines to build any momentum so far here in the fourth quarter. Montero looking for the give it go. Well, again, good defense. Can Gilles push this one? Clarkson goes for a quick three. Three is up. Doesn't get it. But now the Dominicans have numbers. Montero finds Figueroa. Figueroa is fouled. And he'll go back to the charity stripe. And often when you get to these moments in the game, both teams fatigue. Can there be that X Factor guy like a Figueroa who brings that energy to find these transition moments? You know, free throws, easy baskets out transition can be the difference in the game down the stretch. Well, big free throws here. Did miss one on his last trip. Missed another one. Russia just getting to Figueroa. Now it's not the time to crumble. Carl Anthony Towns going over like a big brother and said, you got this, you got to make this one. Missed them both. Well, another foul is committed. You see that coach, both Dwight Ramos and Juma Fajardo having it together collectively box out Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, and that just drives you crazy as a coach. Uh, you know, just the basics, and, and oftentimes, again, you get to the fourth quarter, fatigue starts setting in, it's these little plays that, that really add up to hurt you. Well, that's the fourth and final team foul for Gilas to give. This is good for the Dominican Republic. Any more fouls, they'll go to the free throw line. And I like this move. Coach Garcia coming back with Pena, bringing the perimeter shooting, letting Carl Anthony Towns go down to the block. Well, there's a kick out, finds Feliz, three is up, three is good! That's a big time shot by Feliz. No, it definitely is. And, uh, you know, this gives them a different look. They've been playing with two bigs for most of the game. Towns on the perimeter. Now Towns going down low. How will Gilas handle that? But Dwight trying to use the ball screen for Juma Fajardo. Nowhere to go here. Suffocated defense. Six seconds on the shot clock. But Thompson pulls up for a Helmer three point. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. by Montero, Pena, can he make it back-to-back -back triples? Are you kidding me? Tres puntos, por favor. And Che Garcia just rallying his troops together because Dominican Republic, they go on a 6-0 run. 
Yeah, I really like it. You know, bringing Pena shooting onto the floor, it felt like that was something that they needed. They were starting to bog down a little bit. The veteran has hit big shots throughout. Uh, you know, another one there. Also allows Carl Anthony Towns to get down on the block. It can be tiring for him to be out in the perimeter having to create off the bounce. Well, it's a big timeout now for Chuck Reyes. So far, we're gonna go and listen to what he has to say. So far, the Philippines and Dominican Republic up there, back to back three pointers. Both teams are six triples from downtown, but at the moment, Dominican Republic hitting them when they really count. Yeah, two really big threes there. You know, Reyes, the vet, coming off the bench cold, able to knock down a clean look, but now they have some spacing on the floor. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how Gilas guards Cat down low, knowing that they have shooting out on the perimeter. Point lead to the Dominican Republic. Finding Dwight Ramos now. Jamie Malonzo checking back into the game for Gilas. Interesting lineup here now. Almost six of the going. With Jordan Clarkson as a full man. Back to Clarkson. Clarkson finds Fajardo in the basket. Big man's got to go up with it. Foul has been committed. That's not a bad foul, though, because Chuma Fajardo has struggled from the charity strike this evening. Yeah, you know, another great find from Clarkson. Uh, they sent some bodies at him. He's able to find Jumar down low. So far, two out of four for the charity strike. Now, Ah, uh, Pagoy comes back in for Jordan Clarkson. That's an interesting judge. Well, you know, I think this can't be more than one or two possessions. They've got a free throw. They have a defensive possession, you know, trying to extend whatever minutes they can get. But I I'd be shocked if this went past one minute. Fajardo, as we mentioned, 50% so far this evening, makes the first one. Well, can cut this down to a one-point ball game. You got to think now for the Dominican Republic, two back-to-back three-pointers. That's got to be something that's got to build confidence here in the last few minutes. Yeah, and, you know, a different look for their offense. I mean, they've been playing with the double bigs with, with Towns on the perimeter. You know, now with him down low, middle pick and roll, shooting spread around. Let's see how Gillis ha handles this. Well, there's a pick and pop. Pena made the last, so he goes for another one. In and out, doesn't get it. Well, that would have been crucial. Yeah, and I think those shots are going to be there. Alonzo, three, corner, takes it. Fajardo trying to battle for the offensive board. And Jamie Malonzo not right now for his perimeter shooting. Trying to put the pressure in. But a two brush of a bully pull there on the offensive rebound. Dwight Ramos, he felt this should have been a cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a push in the back or not, but he's got to be stronger than that. You know, that was a guard that was there. It wasn't like a big that would have thrown him out of the way. Thompson down the middle. Trying to go up, finds Chuma Fahad, the big man, the veteran, Mr. San Miguel Pimmon, Mr. PBA, keeping the Philippines in this game. Yeah, really nice find there, drawing the defense, finding the drop off for Juma. Well, Dominican players, they've rallied together here in the fourth quarter, taking the gamble defensively. The foul has been committed, and that's the 15 foul. So Colin Anthony Towns going back to the free throw line. Shot Reyes wasted no time to bring Jordan Clarkson back in. Alonso checking out of the game, but only one missed free throw for Cat so far. Three-time NBA All-Star. Again, you talked about one of the best professionals in the game. Just got to make these free throws. Yeah, and I think, you know, if he can roll out of that quicker, it's going to cause a lot of problems for Gilas. Just his physicality, 
whether that's pulling in the defense and creating open threes on the perimeter, or like we saw here, just drawing fouls. Well, 23 points so far for Carl Anthony Towns. And he sees the... <laughs> Whole crowd didn't appreciate that one. Well, man, who's ugly in the face of the Minnesota Timberwolves since Kevin Garnett. And I think Cat has a big smile on his face knowing that he's riled up the home crowd. So, you know, interesting here, Clarkson just getting his one minute of rest. Will Cat get the same thing? Are they going to ride him through this quarter? Well, Philippines going a little bit bigger now as they bring back in AJ into. Trying to get the ball inbound. Well, they got to get it bound. That's a five-second violation. And again, you know, the disappointing thing about that, you've got our Pagoy, Dwight Ramos, nobody going to set a screen for each other to get open. Yeah, and, you know, they need to expect that. Uh, the DR has used a lot of pressure after free throws in their tune-up games leading up to here. So they really shouldn't get caught off guard there. They're trying to kill the screen now. Down the middle. Puts up the floater. Can't get it. A deuce kills a rebound, no foul calls. And that is going to be possession back to the Dominican Republic. Well, great hustle by the Dominican players. I'd say as well, Felice probably lucky to get a foul call there for the reach in. Yeah, there was a lot, a lot of stuff going on there. Maybe even a travel prior to that. Now the thing they're trying to say is the shot clock's only going to be reset to 14. And we see the spread pick and roll here with Cat. Well, Feliz goes up in a three. Three is up. Cat with the offensive board. This is good for the Dominican Republic. Cat going in the lane now. Bump it. Goes up with it. Can't get it. The yeah. foul has been cool. So two free throws coming up for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'd have to see the replay on that. Well, here's a shot by Kyle Anthony Towns. Well, maybe that that one's on Jordan Clarkson, I believe. Yeah, it's, that's, that's hard to see. I mean, it's been so physical all game long. You know, obviously the referee is closer, has a better angle than we do, but uh, definitely a tough call for Gillis. Well, the problem the Philippines have, any more fouls sends the Dominican Republic to the free throw line. And again, the Dominican Republic choking here in the fourth quarter from the free throw line. Suddenly, if they step up and make all these missed free throws, this game could be done and dusted. Yeah, you know, it's almost like a heavyweight fight getting into those last couple rounds. It's just the intensity has been so high for so long. Not surprising to see fatigue set in for some of these guys. Well, Mr. Both. Ramos comes up with a rebound. He just needs something here. Fox leaves the ball screen. What about the three-pointer? Trying to make a bit of contact. Makes a contact, goes up with it, and they're going to call another foul against Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, I think this one is correct. You know, the one before, maybe he had embellished a little bit, but uh, you know, a little bit of a chicken wing. You see Clarkson get that elbow up to create the clearance. Well, that's on Jordan Clarkson. That's foul number five. He's gone. And that is huge. That might be it for the Philippines, the way this game has gone for them. Well, definitely the right call by the officials. Yeah, that's a that's a obviously a huge turn of events for Gillis. They have to figure out a way now to quickly regroup, primarily figure out how are they going to score in the half court now. Game is in the hands of the Dominican Republic. Kyle looking to attack goes up. Cat goes in again. Oh, this guy yeah. playing for an MVP. Yeah, incredible finish there. Back to the perimeter game for him. All the Dominican Republic now need is some stops on defense. Philippines need buckets. 
Dwight goes into the teardrop, way off the mark, can't get it. Patience to build up now. Carl Anthony Towns leading the way in the backcourt. Trying to use the full screen. Goes down the middle. Kicks out to Montero. Montero, step back. 2-3. Doesn't get it. Fajardo with a rebound. Yeah, you know, I'd love to see the, the DR go back to that spread pick and roll game. You know, that's a lot of energy for Towns out in the perimeter having to handle. Well, at the moment, Philippines struggle to find any sort of rhythm in their offense. Fajardo drills a contact. He'll go back to the free throw line. The foul is on Carl Anthony Towns. That's his third personal foul. So big free throws coming up for Juma Fajardo. Again, interesting to see with Gilas on the floor. They haven't played literally probably more than a minute and 30 seconds without Jordan Clarkson. Now they've got to survive two minutes and 27 seconds down by five without him. Yeah, you know, and that's the hard thing, right? When you're so dependent on one guy having the ball in his hand, suddenly he's fouled out. What do you go to? Uh, you know, I said earlier, I thought maybe Kiefer Ravina would come into the game. He, you know, he played with a lot of confidence in the first half. I think you're asking a lot if you brought him in at this stage of the game. So they're going to have to rely on, you know, whether it's Thompson, maybe Ramos again. Uh, but these guys are going to have to step up in a big way for them down the stretch. Well, Fajardo just gets the shooter's roll. Even in the response there, you can see he knows he was just able to grab that one. Well, unbelievable performance from Jordan Clarkson's game. 28 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. But Fajardo makes them both. Gila's trail by 3 points. Dominican Republic. Patience is what they need. Composure with the home crowd trying to rally behind their players. Cat looking to attack now. Cat goes all the way. Oh, I missed it. But again, the Dominican Republic get the rebounds. Three in the corner. Three is up. Get no good. But Carl Anthony Towns getting every single offensive board. Leaves for a three. That's way off the mark. A foul is going to be cold. And finally, H.J. Adu puts his hands. He wants the crowd in this game. And that's a big call, you know. I mean, they, they've been struggling to find themselves with Clarkson out of the game offensively to get to the free throw line here from that, get hopefully two points out of that. that that's a really huge play for them. Well, the man who grew up in Great Britain had options to play for national teams of Nigeria, GB, Cyprus, but instead decided to go with the roots of his mother, Josie Adu. A well, man who comes from a wonderful family, younger brothers and sisters, all good basketball players, and maybe getting ready to feature for Gilas in the future. Okay. Missed the second one now. Two-point ball game. Fatigue settling in with both these two teams. Home crowd. Again, this is the Philippine Arena. History was made today. A world record for FIBA World Cup basketball. Down the middle, goes up, fouls court, get the M1! That, that is a great set. I mean, in that moment, Coach Garcia stepping up. Unbelievable flex play there. To get the layup and one in that moment is just incredible. Well, Lees has hit the ground quite hard. Fajardo didn't make too much contact in terms of being intentional, but it is a foul for sure. But now the Heat. Coach's staff from the Dominican Republic just coming on the court to make sure he's okay. And again, that is going to be the number one priority for the Dominican Republic. And I'm sure he's using some of this time, too, to catch his breath. All the players fatigued right now. He's going to milk this for the most. But that is just unbelievable execution. The first time we've seen this play from them throughout the game, you know that they have these special plays and big moments. Coach calling it up during the free throws from Gilas, and they executing it to perfection. Well, he's up on the ground now. Question is, how has he dislocated his shoulder, though? Because you see he is favoring that right arm. Well, here was the play by Carl Anthony Towns. First off, getting the out one. 
Well, these appears to be in quite some agony right there. I am very concerned it might be a shoulder. Yeah, you you know, you never want a player to be seriously injured. Uh, but there are, are also moments late in games where questionable free throw shooters sometimes, not saying that this is what's happening, but uh, I've certainly been a part of teams where uh, maybe you stay down a little bit longer knowing that you can put a better free throw shooter in. Certainly, I hope that's not the case here with Lee's. It looks like now for the Dominican Republic, Yonez is going to come in and take the free throw, I believe. So right off the bench, a chance with 96 seconds to give his team a five-point lead. Again, the free throw struggles from the Dominican Republic. Coming back yet again to hold them. Thompson corner for the bull screen. Dominican Republic now defensively making this tough here for the Philippines. Thompson pump faking, finding Fajardo. Nowhere to go here. pagoy has got to shoot it. Well, great defense yet again by the Dominican Republic. Yeah, great block there. A little bit dangerous play from Montero to try to get the block, but credit to him for making the play. Well, one bucket here for the Dominicans. Could be the curtain call. That's the penetration. Quinones down the middle. Another foul committed. This one's going to be against White Ramos. Yet you can feel the agony right now. Some fans even heading for the exit as we speak. Yeah, that's a tough one there. You know, I think uh, DR was a little discombobulated. They had Pena on the screen with Town spaced out. Probably would have preferred it to be the other way, but Kenya was able to make a play there and get to the line. And this is last free throw. And again, he missed another one. I think they've missed probably six free throws there in the fourth quarter. They have definitely uh, missed some opportunities to put this game away. Well, the issue now as well is that Dwight Ramos is going to have to help out Juma Fajardo, box out Carl Anthony Towns. But finally gets one to drop. 51 seconds left. Five-point ball game. Gilas must get a bucket here. Thompson off the ball screen, kicks out to Ramos. Ramos going off a screen now with A.J. Edu. Thompson down the middle, goes up, no foul pulled. And that's going to be possession. Well, I think the referees may overturn this. Well, they need to look at that. I think that, uh, yeah, he's just coming in outright overturning it. That's tough there. You know, a lot of clock used on that to finish that off with a turnover. They need to be up picking full right now, though. Have to move on to the next play quickly. Well, no denial whatsoever there on Montero. Just allowing Dominican Republic to inbound it. Yeah, I'm shocked. They need to be trapping and fouling right now. Well, what a first game it's been so far for these two teams. Hesitation, Montero goes up, and he finishes that one. And again, that might be the cream of the crop there. The man who led this team to victory over Argentina, qualifying for this game. Phenomenal finish. And John Reyes is going to call timeout. His team currently trailing by seven points with 14.8 seconds left in the game. Well, as soon as Jordan Clarkson fouled out of the game, the offense for the Philippines, I mean, it was just nowhere to be seen. Yeah, and you know, I don't think we can be that surprised from that. you are used to international basketball the Philippines still need to keep scoring here because it could be a potential situation 
where we might have three teams with only one victory. So no, points difference is huge in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I was really surprised how they played that last 20 seconds, choosing not to trap, choosing not to foul. Uh, but certainly right now, they have to have that mentality. I, You know, it's a three possession game. I, they need at least a quick two right here. See if they can force a turnover after that. Well, Scotty Thompson will inbound this one. Dominican Republic will walk away with the victory. White got it by Towns. Draws a contact. That's on the ground. That's team foul. So he will go to the free throw line. That's a spot move there by Dwight Ramos. Yeah, something quick, trying to get to the lounge. You know, that, that also gives Towns his fourth foul, which uh, you know, probably won't be that important at this stage of the game, but uh, definitely something they needed. Well, again, if they can just cut the deficit down as, as much as possible, I mean, they're not going to get anything now because it's going to be 12 seconds. We're hoping if there is a three-way situation with three teams and one victory, this minimal defeat could be a, a blessing for them, if anything. Well, you know, 12 seconds left, I, I, I mean, I'm still playing to win. So, you know, I've been doing this long enough to see crazier things happen. Uh, you know, the Dominican Republic smartly takes a timeout here to advance the ball. But even then, if they can force a turnover, something quick, get downhill, whether that's a quick layup, quick three, make it a one possession game, you never know. Let's go and listen now to Che Gathia, head coach of Dominican Republic. Here she is. saying to check out the let's get to the free throw line we haven't missed a free throw yet yeah he might want to double check that box score uh, where's Rashid Wallace right now? <laughs> <laughs> but you know Dominican Republic smartly advancing the ball what would hurt them the most is a backcourt turnover you know leading to a quick basket for Gila so worst case scenario if they turn it over here It'll eat some time for Gilas to try to go down and score. But again, you saw Jordan Clarkson there. Had he not fouled out, could this game have been different? You never know. No, absolutely. That was a huge play in the game. And the Philippines committing an unsportsmanlike foul. I'm not sure what's called here. I mean, so is the unsportsmanlike or technical? Because it looked like it was a change of. I think what they have here is the foul before the ball was inbounded. So is this going to be one free throw or two free throws? Look. Yeah, so that should be one free throw. The Dominican Republic can choose who they want. So you see them bringing Towns up to shoot the free throw rather than Quinones, and then they'll get the ball back again. Scotty Thompson, the man who plays for Ginebra, getting called for the foul. So I think the officials now just, I guess, reviewing what should be the case now. But Is coming to the free throw line. Making this one, extending this lead back to six points. 12.0 seconds left. Now Jamie Malonzo coming in for Scotty Thompson. Now more games to come for the Philippines, but you know they're gonna get tougher because you got you gotta play against Italy, you gotta play against Angola. Well, Feliz waiting to get fouled, of course. As a three, three is up, no good. The Philippines come up with it. Find him, Alonso. 
Alonso doesn't get it off in time. And ladies and gentlemen, the Dominican Republic get their first win of the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup against the Philippines. Well, it was exciting stuff, end-to-end -end action. But it's fair to say when Jordan Clarkson fouled out of the game, it was all over for the Philippines. Yeah, you know, you could just kind of feel the the wind come out of their sails when that happened. And obviously he had carried the load the entire game offensively for them. So not surprised to see them struggle down the stretch. Well, phenomenal performance from Carl Anthony Towns finishing with the double-double in the end. 10 rebounds and 26 points. I mean, that's just Cat doing Cat things on the basketball court. Yeah, and you know where I was really impressed, I mean, 15 for 16 from the free throw line, not just obviously shooting a high percentage, but figuring out how to get there. You know, finding his rhythm with, with easy points rather than taking a lot of difficult step-back threes, which he sometimes can do. Well, Dominican players, remember Victor Lee's, I'm curious to know if he had a sh shoulder dislocation when he left, because his shoulder did not look in good shape. Yeah. That could be a big loss for them. Absolutely, and you know, really concerning that, it, you know, I mentioned sometimes guys can can be a little, little sneaky with that, but he went straight back to the locker room rather than sit on the bench. So let's hope that he's okay and able to play moving forward. Well, right now we're gonna show you some stats and some highlights here from the game, but again, what an exciting game it was for these two teams. But in the end, as we mentioned, only it will be the Dominican Republic who will leave with the big victory. Carl Anthony Towns, speeches for this team a couple of times in the past in Olympic qualifiers, also for the junior national team. But it's finally great to see him in his very first ever FIBA Basel World Cup. Yeah, absolutely. And he, you know, he really delivered. Uh, I mean, that game was back and forth for almost the entirety. Uh, it seemed like whenever they needed a basket, he, you know, he would step up, whether that was drawing fouls. There was that stretch there where they put him on the low block as well. Well, rebounds came back to hold the Philippines in the fourth quarter. 43 rebounds in total for the Dominican Republic. Two more assists and four more steals for that matter. Dominican Republic finished with 17 offensive boards. Coach, Philippines only three. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the difference right there. Uh, I mean, they had an advantage coming into the second half and continued to extend that. Uh, you know, and that's something obviously Gillis needs to do a better job of moving forward. Well, here are the top plays of the fourth quarter. Carl Anthony Towns, phenomenal performance. That was Jamie Thompson fighting Juma Fajardo, the PBA legend and veteran, recovering after a knee injury picked up in Japan at the East Asian Super League. But Jordan Clarkson, fair to say, had he stayed in the game, it could have been a different outcome. No, absolutely. I mean, he kind of had his way all game, was able to get downhill, did a great job once he got into the paint. So disappointing to see him uh, not be able to finish this one. Well, great transition plays. Here was the bucket by Victor Lee. Now, that wasn't the one he made when he picked up the injury, but we'll have to find out how he's doing. AJ Duke getting a bucket big time in the fourth quarter. Last few minutes, but back-to-back -back triples. Montero, that was the big one. And then finding Feliz, Feliz knocking it down. And that changed the momentum of this game. Two three-pointers in succession really set the deal for this one. Yeah, that was a big moment in the game. I really like the substitution there from Coach Garcia, bringing the veteran Reyes, seeing him there knock down that three. But, you know, spacing the floor around Cat, uh, I thought was a great move. Well, they try to get things going. That was again finding Juma Fajardo. PBA legend, the home crowd showing their love and support. But Carl Anthony Towns dominating this game, as you mentioned, with his double double of 26 points and 10 rebounds. Phenomenal performance from Cat. And there was the arm one. Again, that's a worrying sign. He lands directly on that arm. We hope he's okay, of course. Yeah, I really do. He had a really solid game for them as well, so we'd hate to see uh, that end with an injury. Well, Dominican fans. They could celebrate, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, to all of our fans in the Dominican Republic, it is adios, buenas noches, and to all of our fans here in the Philippines, Pa'alam and Magadang Gabi. We'll see you for more games here at the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Italy and Dominican Republic, they pick up victories here in Group A.